Good morning, everyone. Hey, my name is Father Bob Gross, and I'm the pastor of St. Aloysius and Calmer, Our Lady of Seven Dollars in Festina, St. Francis de Sales in Austin, and St. Wenceslas in Spillville. I want to wish you a uh, good morning to you. I hope you're doing really well today. Today, uh, I want to do a short video to invite you to our last night for our parish mission. And I just wanted to make a couple of observations about what's been going on. So when we started this mission, um, I, was, I was in a very different place than I was uh, than compared to this moment, this morning. Today I had the joy of celebrating Catholic Schools Mass with our school, St. Teresa's, and I was just filled with so much joy to be able to serve Mass, have Mass, celebrate Mass be with the Lord and talk about the light of the world, Jesus Christ. And um, last night we had a powerful encounter with the Holy Spirit. And many people had a powerful encounter with the Holy Spirit. But the one thing I want to say is this. The Holy Spirit is stirring something in our four parishes. That's going to stir people to openness. Or it's going to stir people to resistance. And that's what I'm kind of hearing as I'm having a lot of conversations with people. There's some who are coming to me that are saying that God is alive. God touched me. God healed me. He healed me. Then there are others who have just expressed their uncomfortableness with the way that we've prayed the last couple of nights. And that's what happens when the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit shows up. We're not in control. We're not in control. And for many of us, that drives us absolutely crazy. I was one. Father Greg, in his talk, talked about the four obstacles to the Holy Spirit. Fear, worry, doubt, control. Fear, worry, doubt, and control. And I have seen how those block the Holy Spirit working in my life. It's been so clear to me of the fear and the anxiety and the doubt and the control that so many of us struggle with. We think that's the only way to live. And the Holy Spirit wants us to surrender all of that to Him and let His life fill us with joy, fill us with faith, fill us with trust and giving Him the control of our lives. So please come to the mission tonight. Things are being stirred up. The Holy Spirit is stirring things up, and I want to thank God today that we've had this opportunity as a parish community to come and be touched by the Holy Spirit. Now I know some of you have really had a profound encounter with the Lord. Deepen it. Go deeper with Jesus, specifically by going into the Bible. You know, we have these faith-sharing groups that look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel. Maybe that's a way for you to start. Like Father Greg Bramlage suggested, starting with the Gospel of Luke and going through Acts. And then I know there are many of you that are just kind of dumbfounded, uncomfortable, wondering how this is, wondering if this may be a sham. Those are all responses that you could possibly give, or maybe you're just uncomfortable. Well, I think that's God inviting you to go deeper with him. And there's so many people that wonder, why do people leave the Catholic Church? Why don't people exp go to church anymore? Why don't they practice the faith anymore? It's because people do not believe that Jesus is alive. And you need an experience of Jesus being alive in order for the faith to make sense. If we're going in as spiritual robots, we're not going to experience the deep love that, that Jesus has for each one of us. So it's all about Jesus. It's all about him giving us the gift of his life in the Holy Spirit. And I just find myself smiling. I was smiling yesterday, smiling this morning. Um, you're probably wondering what's, what's going on with me. I'm, I'm, I'm just really thankful, really joyful that God showed up to our parish in a new and profound way. So, please come. Please come.
Come Holy Spirit. He's going to show up. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace to you.